Welcome everybody, I'm Paola Casoli and my lecture will be focused on crisis management and how to manage a crisis, a communication crisis in the social media arena. I'll talk about knowledge and tools in order to face a crisis, not to avoid it. So topics of lecture will be narrative, how to create a narrative, uh, how to protect uh, an organization reputation, how to uh, interact with your readers, how to involve them on social media. So, all I want to do, uh, I want you to find your, uh, your own way to find uh, a crisis communication and to manage it uh, on social media. Um, there are two important definitions in the NATO PAO handbook. And these definitions are related to issue and the crisis, uh, our keywords for this lecture. So, a crisis is normally considered as an event which could create a negative media coverage, while an issue is considered as an external factor that could represent an obstacle to achieving organization's objectives and goals. How can you avoid an issue becoming a crisis? First of all, uh, you have to take care of the flow of, the, of communication. So mind your own communication and the way you manage your communication channels. Then take care of technical tools. Remember that uh, any shortage is difficult to mend and uh, it could become rapidly in a real crisis. So any downtime, any shutdown, any shortage, shortage could be a crisis. Mind your technical tools in order to avoid any shortage, any shutdown. So avoid a crisis if possible. Uh, security rules are, are also very important. So mind also security rules and take care of your data, and especially your personal data. When a message is ambiguous and you let it be as it is, uh, you will meet a challenge in a challenge because an unclear message or an incomplete message uh, doesn't bring the message you want to spread. So uh, it wouldn't be clear, concise, it wouldn't be timely. Mind also external factors. First one is context and it's about the variety of cultures and ethnic groups that are all around us. Another external factor that you have to bear in mind is the intercultural communication. You, you don't, uh, uh, don't be ironic in your message, don't be hypocritical, don't be sarcastic but because every culture deserves respect so uh, sarcasm um, is not successful in communication. And you also have to be very, very clear for the cross-cultural communication, for example. No puns, no wordplay, because your message has to be released in a clear manner and in an unequivocal manner. So don't refer to any historical or, cul or cultural background. Be clear and fair. The globalization of communication is also an external factor uh, which has to be considered. So um, a clear message uh, fits all in the sense that a very simple sentence composed by a subject, a verb, an object, um, can release your message in a clear and concise manner. There are also negative circumstances and positive circumstances. Both of them uh, are very important uh, relating to uh, the way to spread your message. I mean, don't draw a conclusion on a temporary need circumstances, nor in good and positive occasions and circumstances as well, uh, because your message uh, will be affected in both cases. So it, will be, it will be affected by your enthusiasm, for example, in a positive situation, or on the other side, your, uh, your mood uh, will be very bad, and this will affect also, uh, also your message. Um, so your communication skills must not be affected by the events and the incidents that happens all around you.
to prepare an organization to, uh, to face any crisis, uh, you have to work in advance. Uh, it means that uh, uh, you have to start telling the story of your organization routinely, day by day, shadows and light, of course. Uh, a continuous and daily narrative helps in so doing. Uh, remember that you have to protect your, uh, your uh, or own organization reputation. Uh, so, um, do it daily, every day post uh, a new story, create and build your own narrative. Because one post a day creates history. Each of your daily stories make history. So day by day, and assure continuity. Because uh, continuity creates trust. People will trust you if you are continuous in creating your, in building your narrative. If you are continuous in, let, in uh, um, telling what your uh, organization is doing. So, uh, every, part, uh, uh, every part of your narrative is already around you. You have to take a scenario, you have to take your actors, your storyboard, the events and the incidents and create your own story, your own narrative. Um, this is the footprint of your genuine narrative, of course. You have to be recognizable. It's important to be recognizable. It's very important to, uh, in order to build, uh, to build the reputation of your organization once again. Um, I suggest that uh, uh, you think about uh, uh, journalistic rules um, in order to, um, uh, to create, to build the perfect message. Uh, I'm thinking about the five W's and the H. Journalistic skills uh, are, um, can help, are not required, but they can help. Um, I think that uh, journalistic rules represents, uh, represent the basics even on social media. Uh, headlines and pictures are also very important, so we are not talking uh, about only about uh, five W's and H, but also headlines, uh, because an attractive headline uh, can, uh, um, can address in a better way uh, the reader, uh, at the same time, uh, don't forget that uh, uh, every headline every headline has to uh, to reflect uh, the, the the post, the story you're going to uh, to tell the people. Um, so um, pictures at the same time are very important uh, um, because uh, uh, a picture tells. Uh, a lot about the story you're going to tell. Uh, so uh, practice the ability to uh, to find, uh, to choose the right picture. And by saying so, I mean uh, the picture which perfectly fits uh, to your story, to your message. Um, while working in advance, uh, also PAOs, uh, public affairs uh, uh, officers, rules, uh, um, especially um, elements as uh, talking points and master messages, are very important in spread spreading a, cl a clear and concise message. Um, so far we talked about uh, journalistic rules, but uh, uh, these talking points and master messages are also uh, very useful um, and successful successful uh, in um, mostly uh, great part of situations. But the main challenge, I would say, the main challenge is engaging communities. Uh, foster a sense, uh, fostering a sense of community uh, represents uh, the challenge uh, you have to meet every time you post, uh, you post uh, uh, your story every time you uh, post a comment on uh, social media. So, um, this is the really social media challenge, uh, in, my, in my opinion. Um, I just prepared some uh, few examples uh, about uh, interacting and involving people. These examples, uh, uh, some of them are coming uh, from my previous, uh, from my previous um, lecture, but all of them, I think, are uh, very important to understand what, uh, uh, what I mean uh, when, I uh, when I talk about uh, 
uh, liking and sharing, uh, uh, interacting and involving people on a social media channel. Uh, the first one is about uh, um, general odierno uh, personal profile and uh, he is uh, just sharing pictures and sharing and resharing elements on social media is very important in order to, um, to address uh, a huge audience. Uh, at the same time uh, I've just posted a different way to, to share um, the same news. So take a news and share and reshare it on different channels, on different social media channels. Uh, you will have the chance to meet uh, uh, much more people. Uh, share your own posts, uh, your own pictures too, and link your narrative uh, uh, to social media profiles. Um, I suggest that you use a hashtags, of course, uh, while promoting interaction um, with uh, surveys, uh, with games uh, on, uh, on your personal, uh, personal profile. At the same time, um, I was talking about uh, hashtags. At the same time, remember that they are very important because these elements, so uh, called uh, hashtags, um, uh, give you the uh, possibility to um, address uh, uh, specific groups of people uh, regarding a specific topic um, and regarding also specific uh, specific news I mean uh, a particular news uh, in this um, in this example you can see um, fashion week in Milan uh, you can see also gas monkey garage uh, all of them all of these um, profiles are uh, addressing people in order to let them them know so let the audience know what you're uh, you're doing and what your organization uh, is doing uh, um, so uh, try also to uh, to link uh, your uh, your news to specific forums uh, um, in order to uh, involve uh, involve more persons so uh, the updating is also very important so uh, update. Remember to update your stakeholders, not only your uh, uh, your audience, uh, generally speaking, of course. So um, don't forget uh, also to uh, to ask uh, um, uh, to ask people to share your news and to share uh, your posts. Um, it's another way to interact and to involve people. Um, of course. Uh, uh, always do a follow-up uh, of what you've done and uh, let audience know uh, everything about the event you organized. Uh, engaging people, so engaging, engaging persons and also engaging communities uh, is also important uh, uh, to fix uh, um, issues. Um, I mean, uh, um, social media arena uh, is a the perfect, uh, the perfect place where, uh, where to fix issues all together. Uh, if you organize, uh, a, if you organize an hangout, for example, if you organize a, a Skype session uh, with a group, you can discuss uh, your issues. So you can discuss issues before they become a crisis. Uh, you can discuss issues in order to support uh, your organization, to protect uh, the, the reputation of your organization. So uh, social media and the web uh, are also the, um, the perfect arena where to discuss, where discussing uh, fixed issues, uh, uh, sorry, your issues. Uh, discuss your main topics, uh, for example, in a weekly round table. Uh, and, and also um, decide uh, when to, um, to manage a round table uh, uh, on the web, uh, on the social media. Once you've decided uh, uh, the frequency of your Hangout, for example, or, or, or a Skype session, um, keep, uh, uh, keep on uh, doing that and keep the rhythm because it's important. Um, Social media are, uh, are a magic word. Um, the social media landscape uh, is, uh, is very huge. Um, but uh, there's a huge variety of social media channels. Just uh, uh, choose the one uh, that uh, 
perfectly fits uh, to your uh, communication plan. Uh, so now we have also a, a slide uh, um, to reassure um, beginners. Uh, this is a slide uh, about vintage social, social networking and uh, you can find all uh, of the uh, new social media uh, compared to um, uh, to a vintage perspective compared to previous uh, uh, means of meanings of com means of communication. Uh, just to reassure you that uh, nothing is uh, has changed. Nothing has changed, but uh, uh, just a little bit um, technical tools. Um, so uh, tools are uh, always a matter of communities. So don't forget we are talking about uh, involving people, about interacting with persons. So. Um, uh, just um, uh, think about uh, uh, people and readers uh, uh, you want to uh, to involve. Uh, if uh, uh, choose uh, choose it uh, um, according to your strategy. I mean, uh, if you just want to speak uh, uh, with your parents, uh, you probably need uh, a Skype account, and that's it. But uh, if you want to interact with your parents and also all the relatives uh, all around the world and you're going to organize uh, um, a meeting with them uh, or you're going to organize uh, a journey or specific uh, holidays you have to uh, to think about a different social media channel probably um, not only an hangout or a Skype session uh, but uh, also a Facebook uh, a Facebook group why not so you can also share your uh, your pictures and uh, uh, you can also create, uh, in this case, uh, um, an Instagram uh, and also Pinterest, uh, Pinterest page, Pinterest profile. Uh, so tools are a matter of communities. Um, once again, uh, you have to consider that uh, uh, social media takes time. Um, so define honestly how much time you can dedicate to uh, social media activity. Um, Honestly speaking, and according to my previous experience, this slide doesn't reflect uh, the reality. It's not, it's not uh, true that uh, we, uh, we need only 15 minutes a day to listen without uh, engagement, um, nor uh, uh, 30 minutes per day to participate on Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, we all have tablets that uh, are um, always switched on and uh, they are always uh, open 24 7 always open to social media profiles so we can um, we can get a lot of messages at any moment of our day from all over the world so uh, before choosing the, the per your perfect media uh, social media uh, profile your social media channel you have to make a plan a communication plan is obviously very very important before choosing a, a social media profile before choosing a social media challenge in in our case so decide your objectives uh, define your strategy uh, define your target audience choose your key messages, they are also very important, at the end uh, you have to select uh, the channels of communication. Um, we have just a couple of examples in order to let you better understand what I mean. Uh, if you're going to create a, a corporate plan, uh, you have to consider what what are your objective, uh, objectives? If you want to become richer uh, than, uh, than Uncle Scrooge, he will probably, uh, while, uh, while uh, delivering uh, meals uh, during the, the meal period to workers, you probably need to, um, to ask uh, Mr. Despicable to, uh, to address millions uh, in the working site. But, uh, uh, I should say it's not enough. Uh, why not uh, um, create a LinkedIn profile uh, that is very professional in order to advertise your company, uh, the best company in uh, when it comes to fast uh, deliver uh, meals to uh, minions uh, in their uh, meal period. And why not? Uh, because it's uh, too professional probably to address uh, directly minions. So why not uh, create an 
open also a Facebook uh, group in order to address directly minions uh, while having their, uh, their meal period. Uh, the other example is about uh, a personal and an individual plan. Um, this example is about uh, two girls, uh, two girls uh, who um, wanted to um, organize uh, their perfect afternoon with friends, and uh, they are um, uh, they are going to to have a tea time all together. The target audience will be, of course, uh, a schoolmate, the group of schoolmates, uh, and uh, other friends. Uh, how to uh, to advertise and communicate that uh, you're going to organize this in a noble, distinguished tea time? Uh, word of mouth, uh, word of mouth uh, could uh, probably not uh, uh, be enough. Um, why not uh, uh, posting uh, uh, pictures on Instagram or again Pinterest or addressing uh, your target audience and your uh, friends uh, on Facebook, directly on Facebook. Anyway, uh, tools uh, are um, always uh, to be selected responsibly and according to your, uh, to your goals and to your objectives. Uh, analyze every single uh, social media channel, um, because every channel uh, makes sense. Everyone has uh, its own characteristics. I mean, uh, uh, for example, Facebook, uh, uh, as we can see from the from the slide, Facebook is the, the most um, the most used um, social. Uh, it's a social sharing site that has one billion users worldwide. Um, but uh, um, probably it gives the largest opportunities. It uh, it gives you the opportunity to communicate with uh, directly with consumers. But uh, uh, why not? Uh, um, considering also Twitter in this case. Twitter is a microblogging social site. Uh, it has a, a limited space, uh, uh, just uh, uh, 140 characters uh, every each post. So uh, you have to train a lot uh, before, uh, before posting on Twitter. Um, but anyway, Twitter is also, um, um, it's also very important as a social media. I mean, there are 560 million active users, according to this um, uh, to this slide. Uh, we've talked about uh, LinkedIn uh, and the LinkedIn profile in when it comes to advertise a corporate uh, a corporate plan when it comes to advertise um, a company. Uh, it is business oriented. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's um, it's business oriented and uh, mm, uh, it uh, it address uh, it addresses uh, directly uh, companies and uh, uh, individuals and professionals. At the same time, Pinterest and uh, and the Instagram and Google Plus are also um, viable uh, social media channels. Just just select uh, the channels uh, that uh, which fit um, fit uh, to your to your goals. And uh, as I have said before. Um, gain momentum and then uh, keep the rhythm um, we we can we can see in this uh, in this slide that uh, every social media has uh, its own specificity it just decide uh, the organizational characteristics you want to light up uh, through every social media so uh, select uh, and choose responsibly once again and consider always the time that you can um, uh, that you can serve to uh, to every social media. And now it comes to the most important slide. Um, I think that uh, SWOT analysis is um, uh, the most important action to take uh, before you uh, you start a, a social media profile. Uh, well, SWOT analysis is always important, but we are now focusing on uh, using and selecting the perfect social media uh, channel uh, in order to um, uh, to let uh, your company um, uh, um, spread a clear concise message and be successful in, uh, in so doing. So SWOT analysis uh, is an analysis uh, that uh, um, 
is uh, uh, focused on the strengths, uh, weaknesses, opportunities, and the threats of every organization, every group, everything that you're, uh, uh, every organization you're going to uh, analyze. Um, and we, we can think about uh, uh, the, the corporation, uh, the corporate uh, uh, communication plan we've seen before, uh, the one about Uncle Scrooge, uh, just to, to give you an example, what are the strengths of the a company um, probably uh, a flexible and responsive uh, to sales element maybe uh, or uh, probably a strong trade show presence and at the same time we can face weaknesses uh, be honest while analyzing uh, your uh, your organization weaknesses uh, um, in the case of uncle scrooge and his company of fast delivery um, probably could be a poor uh, maybe for strategic alliances why not maybe uncle scrooge is so selfish and want to do everything by uh, by its, its own uh, or a lack of agreement uh, or uh, a lack of, of focus on key initiatives at the same time we have opportunities why not is a it's a positive stance um, finally um, so uh, what kind of opportunities uh, um, has uh, uncle scrooge with his co it's a, his company. Um, maybe uh, he has uh, viral marketing programs that are very strong. Why not? He's going to select uh, uh, the perfect social media channel, and so he is going to uh, to spread the perfect uh, the perfect message and the perfect advertisement of the of uh, his uh, service and of his uh, company. There are also threats, uh, threats, for example, represented by, um, in the case of Uncle Scrooge again, by um, a growth in inquiries, for example, or an unfocused message. Uh, unfocused message, remember, are um, um, all those messages unclear, ambiguous, um, not uh, uh, not clear enough uh, to let uh, the reader understand what's going on and what you are doing uh, with your organization. So don't be so vulnerable. Uh, mind always mind uh, your message. Uh, not only technical tools and security rules. Your message has to be clear uh, whenever. Uh, nonetheless, a, a crisis erupts. So, what to do at uh, this point? A crisis are always unpredictable, and um, I tend to agree with um, with this point of view. Uh, all you need when a crisis erupts is uh, um, to knock on the door of your war room and uh, the war crisis team, so-called uh, war crisis team. Keep calm and call the crisis team. Uh, um, I put in this slide. Um, what uh, what is a crisis team? Uh, it's a um, uh, a group of people, a group of persons. Uh, um, among them, there is a, uh, normally also a crisis anticipator. A group, this group of people is uh, dedicated to work on social media, uh, to work uh, on your uh, communication uh, uh, plan. 24/7. Uh, they are going to um, to protect uh, the reputation of the organization. They are going to react at uh, any uh, comments, uh, at uh, any um, at any message um, coming from outside. So uh, this team uh, is um, is composed normally by uh, few people, few persons. Uh, it's not a big team. Uh, but uh, you need it uh, during a crisis and you have to uh, just to, to work well you have to work in advance by preparing uh, preparing it by uh, organizing a war team um, a war crisis a crisis team sorry uh, in order to um, to face the challenge to face the crisis and bear in mind that normally uh, um, a natural disaster and uh, and also a uh, human crisis uh, is seen by are seen by media by the media as um, um, as 
particular occasion uh, to uh, to blame men uh, to blame uh, profession uh, to blame uh, the responsible of the communication just imagine what could happen uh, when it comes uh, uh, to a crisis uh, to a communication crisis who is to blame in that case uh, who will be blamed by media mm, normally storyteller mm, has to um, uh, storyteller has to build uh, his narrative uh, after having uh, having done a, a, a honest SWOT analysis. Um, a storyteller has to build narrative and uh, to to create uh, his narrative in order to protect the, the reputation of his organizations of his organization once a crisis has already erupted. Uh, so be prepared in that. And don't forget that netiquette and respect are always important. Um, even in uh, social media, uh, there are rules uh, of respect uh, that uh, we have to bear in mind um, at any moment. Um, if you act rude, uh, you will get the same, and uh, there is a, there is this is a big truth. So remember the importance of journalistic rules and the need to respect when informing always. Try to uh, to avoid the trolls, and uh, they are always there. So don't feed them. Don't feed the, th uh, the trolls, uh, be clear, concise, uh, responsible, and try not to react in an impulsive manner. Uh, normally, uh, a supporting role to your organization is enough uh, to, um, to guarantee uh, the reputation of your organization uh, while uh, during a crisis. Um, we have here a couple of examples, uh, again from my previous lectures, um, uh, which are very important to better understand what I mean. First of all, uh, the first one is about uh, um, uh, KDF, Kenya Defense Forces uh, Twitter profile um, uh, about uh, a terrorist attack uh, um, happened uh, one years ago in uh, September 2013 uh, in a mall in Nairobi. So uh, what did the uh, Kenya Defense Forces do on that occasion from the um, Twitter profile? Uh, they supported while informing. They supported their organization while informing their audience. So um, you can see um, uh, the importance of uh, co uh, communicating and letting the audience know what's going on. So um, the working role on social media is a support role to corporate communication, not only corporate, believe me, but also personal communication. And uh, once again, we can see here uh, master messages and talking points, talking points uh, that come from uh, uh, PAO function. Um, as I told you before, they're very important too. So not only journalistic skills, not only journalistic rules to, uh, to build a clear and perfect message, but also the convenience of mass and messages and talking points, why not? Uh, as I told you before, um, communication tools, knowledge and tools are the same for both, uh, for both parties, uh, and more than two parties probably. Um, so support role to organizations is always true. Uh, we can see in the same occasion uh, um, in, uh, in Nairobi, in the same mall, uh, and for the same, under the same circumstances, terrorists uh, did the same as KDF uh, in their uh, Twitter profile. So um, we can see the militant group behind the Kenya Mall attack live tweeting the massacre. And they are informing, they are still uh, um, informing the audi their audience uh, uh, about what was going on at this moment. So we have both parties uh, using same tools um, and uh, um, letting the audience know. So knowledge, as you see, tools and knowledge, always a matter of tools and knowledge. So a working role uh, has to support uh, corporate communication, and this is true uh, for both parties in this case. Uh, organization reputation, as I've 
I told before, has to be considered as a crucial point before any crisis uh, erupt, and uh, you have to bear in mind that you have to protect always your organization, but be conscious of uh, what your organization is, so don't forget SWOT analysis before, uh, before addressing your audience, before uh, telling your audience what your organization is and what your company is going on uh, and is, uh, is doing uh, for them. So, um, uh, this example uh, is um uh, has been taken by uh, f from the, the, the from an uh, from an institutional profile. Uh, this is the Mr. Rasmussen uh, uh, Twitter profile, and we can see that uh, he is uh, supporting uh, his organization too uh, from a strategic level, of course, because he is uh, Mr. Rasmussen is, uh, is the Secretary General of NATO, and um, uh, from an, this institutional source uh, we can uh, easily read uh, the effort to support the reputation of organization. So, once again, uh, uh, Rasmussen is tweeting, um, supporting uh, NATO members, uh, supporting the United Kingdom in this case, uh, supporting the role of the alliance. And this is very important. Uh, the organization is the alliance, and Mr. Rasmussen is uh, supporting. Uh, the alliance. Um, this example is uh, quite scary because it's about uh, uh, it's about a Pope Benedict uh, um, tweet profile, and uh, uh, it was related to um, the, the, the the action of Anonymous. Uh, who attacked Vatican site, uh, Vatican website, um, and uh, they say anonymous say it said that it was for the second time. So, um, do you remember what I told you at the beginning of this lecture? When you create your narrative, when you build your narrative, you have to tell the story day by day, and you have also to inform shadows and light. Once again, um, there's no shame in telling that something is going wrong. In your, on your website. And uh, this one is, uh, is about uh, a website that is down, in this case is Interpol site down. Uh, what would you do? You probably, um, uh, you, you probably have a lack in your uh, security system and uh, you have to mind your technical tools once again. Uh, up to you to, to find a, a solution in this case. Uh, finally, the crisis is over, but uh, you are not approaching the end of your work. You start working now for the next crisis. <laughs> I mean, uh, you have to analyze. Uh, you have to analyze your crisis, your um, your reaction to the crisis. Uh, identify your lessons in order to identify uh, solutions uh, to the crisis. Uh, so once overcame, I wrote a crisis needs uh, needs analyzing. You start working now to prevent any other issues becoming crisis. This is an important point. And once you've done, uh, once you've done it, once you've analyzed uh, the crisis and the way uh, you overcame it, uh, don't forget to gain the momentum, but more important, to keep the rhythm. As, um, as two tennis table players, you have to post to react or to wait and to think about what uh, what to say after that particular comment. Uh, so uh, um, once again, uh, think uh, uh, well. Task your uh, your crisis team. <laughs> it's uh, it's the better uh, the better thing to do in this case. Uh, I considered. Uh, um, uh, an example uh, which is very, very, um, on the, uh, which is very important uh, nowadays. It's about uh, um, the counteraction of U.S. government uh, against uh, uh, ISIS recruitment, and uh, these um, these pictures uh, um, have been downloaded from uh, Think Again, Turn Away uh, Facebook profile, which is a, a governmental. Uh, Facebook profile, and um, uh, this is about uh, uh, counter, 
is a sort of uh, counter propaganda against ISIS recruiting, and uh, uh, it um, uh, it's focused on knowledge and uh, to think again, turn away. Uh, wants to uh, let the reader, the people know uh, what uh, ISIS is really doing. ISIS claim to speak for Muslims, but it is a lie. They are their killers. In this way, uh, you see the perfect message is clear, it's concise, um, spread in a, in a timely manner, really accurate. There is a, um, uh, the knowledge as a as as an element, as an important element, and the technical tools are also very important. In this case, um, think again, turn away is a Facebook profile, but also a Twitter one. So they choose, uh, um, so the organization um, chose, selected uh, the perfect uh, social media uh, channel in their case. And uh, uh, they're promoting knowledge. So this the, 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 this um, uh, this site is promoting knowledge uh, among um, uh, among people, uh, among readers, uh, among the Facebook uh, uh, profiles. Um, so far, we've uh, uh, we've spoken about politeness, but um, there's no politeness in a crisis, uh, as you can see. Um, in a crisis, we can find the sarcasm, we can find uh, refers to, to historical and cultural background, and also uh, re refers to uh, different cultures. Remember that every culture uh, deserves uh, respect. Uh, in this case, uh, crisis erupted, and uh, we can't we can't see uh, politeness. No politeness in a crisis. Um, you remember what I told you before. Uh, every tool. Uh, uh, can be uh, used by both parties, by all the different parties uh, involved in that uh, communication plan or in uh, that uh, communication crisis. So um, here we have the example of a, uh, of a video, an ISIS video, uh, which is, uh, um, journal journalistically speaking, uh, perfect. Uh, because uh, it's clear, it's concise, uh, it's, um, uh, it, tells, uh, it tells what's going on in uh, the organization. Um, so uh, tools are always the same. Here uh, you, we can see ISIS promoting knowledge. And then we can see that ISIS uh, is also uh, communicating, uh, and there is a flow of communication, a flow of communication that is continuous, uh, which is continuous, not only continuous, but also always, uh, always there, always present. Uh, we can see uh, there are uh, a lot of tweets, a lot of uh, uh, photo and video um, in, in, uh, this, uh, in this profile, um, ISIS Media Hub, uh, which is a Twitter profile, a specific one. Um, once again, a knowledge flow or communication, and we can also see uh, accurate, concise, uh, and timely manner elements. Uh, we, we were talking about uh, these elements at the beginning of the lessons, uh, uh, beginning of this lecture, and uh, now we can see them. Uh, an official account, ISIS Media Hub, uh, uh, says that uh, it's an, an official uh, account, uh, and. Uh, it's dedicated, it's focused uh, uh, on documentation, on the flow of, of documentation. Uh, so um, you see uh, there is also, um, there are a lot of uh, uh, tweets uh, of, this, uh, of this group, and all of them are aimed at uh, um, communicating, are aimed at uh, spreading messages, so knowledge, uh, perfect uh, uh, consciousness of uh, uh, technical tools uh, once again and then uh, we can see also this uh, um, this example of a message um, from a from a smartphone so uh, exactly in ground zero uh, very scary um, technical tools are um, managed perfectly uh, by by both parties once again here we can see uh, this article about uh, uh, ISIS uh, video uh, ISIS has a real like and sophisticated media department uh, 
and that's true that's true exactly the same as uh, as we can as we can as we can say about uh, uh, think again and turn away and uh, let's see uh, from the uh, on the other side let's have a look uh, think again turn away is uh, uh, is giving a response um, a conscious one um, with documentation knowledge communication and there is also an unpolite response, no politeness in a crisis, parody, mockery. Uh, someone uh, posted uh, this, um, somebody posted uh, this, um, this video, this uh, YouTube link uh, among the comments on uh, Think Again, Turn Away. This is a perfect example of uh, uh, involving, of successful interacting with uh, your audience. Uh, now we are approaching to an end. Uh, engaging communities uh, is uh, still the most, uh, the most important challenge. Uh, it's not that easy to interact with people, uh, to involve them. Um, use hashtag, use your uh, select the perfect uh, social media channels, as I've told you before, and uh, try to interact with people, involving them in surveys, uh, in games from your, uh, from your uh, social media channel. So, uh, just a few words before we wrap it up, uh, before we wrap this uh, lesson up. Um, I, I just want to, uh, to tell you that uh, if you are able to focus on narrative since the beginning, so focus on narrative while supporting your uh, organization, um, uh, this, uh, this can help you in facing crisis and this can help you in uh, um, better involve people and, uh, and have a huge audience to, um, to perfectly spread your message. Thank you.